Hi everyone, Fritz here. Did you recently upgrade your OEM head unit in your BMW to an aftermarket Android unit, but you have this nasty split screen? Well, in this video, we're gonna go over how you can go from this to this in under five minutes. Now you know with me, you're never gonna spend that much money. So we're gonna keep costs low, and you really only need two things here. You're gonna need this wireless OBD2 adapter, which I'll put in the link down below, and your phone. You're gonna need an app called Bimmer Code in order to code the car so that it can properly reset the screen size. First thing, take your wireless OBD2 receiver and connect it to the OBD2 port underneath the footwell on the driver's side. Make sure that the car is on, and download the app called Bimmer Code. You will have to pay for this as well, but don't worry, this whole process is about $100. If you get the receiver on sale, it could be even less than that. So all that we're gonna do is connect to our car. I have the two series, we will connect. It will identify the ECUs, and the first thing that we wanna go for is the head unit. In the head unit, we're gonna mark the box called Expert Mode. Click OK. Now the two items of concern are going to be the 3000 HMI. Let's go for that one first. And we will scroll all the way down until we get to display size resolution. Depending on which car that you have, you may have it selected on the 6.5, the 8.8. The one that we wanna select for in this car, in the two series specifically, if you're coming from the 6.5 display, is the 10.25, 1600 by 600. Select OK, go back out, and then go to 3001 EX box. Here we'll go to display variant, and when I found mine, it was on the first one, the Shamale's display. For the two series, we want to go to the second one, it says Brite's display. Select OK, go back out, and then hit code. Now I'm in the demo mode because I've already coded my car and I just wanted to make sure that I can walk you through it. But just give it a second and it will code. The car will shut off and then restart. As soon as it restarts, we have to do the last step which is make the adjustment on the head unit itself. Now with the car properly coded, we have to go onto the Android side. And you can do this by one of two ways. Either you hold down the menu button for about three seconds or you tap the screen, it'll take you to the Android side. Use your iDrive wheel to navigate into the car settings. Go down to factory setup. You have to enter in the code. Now, if you got it from the same manufacturer as I did, the code for this one is just 2018. Hit okay. And it will take you into this setting. Now, what you wanna do is go into car type and it will give you the option. Don't worry if you don't see your specific series here. So like the F22, don't worry about that. You just wanna make sure that the screen size as well as the type of radio system that you had. So I had the NVT and I was coming from a six and a half screen, but we're trying to code the car to think that it had an 8.8 .8 or a 10.25 display. That's why we're gonna select this, even though it doesn't specifically say F22. This is the one that we want. Press it again in order to get this screen to pop up, hit the check mark. Do not hit the update configuration. As soon as you're done with this, the car is coded, turn it off and then turn it back on. Now that we turn the car back on, everything should be coded just fine. Hit the home button, go back into the car side, you can hit car info and there it is. No more split screen. Now you do have the option in the menu setting. So if you hit the forward button, you can always go back to the split screen. If you do prefer it, you always have the option once you have the full screen to go back to split screen. So as you can see with three simple steps and about five minutes, you can have the display maxed out to your desired intention. So those three steps are gonna be connecting the wireless OBD2 connector, connecting to Bimmer code, changing the two codes, and then the last step is going to be coding the display itself. So I hope that this video helped you save a little bit of money. And don't worry, the Bimmer code app, as well as the OBD2 receiver, you're gonna use again and again on future projects. So it's a worthwhile investment to do now. It's gonna save you in the long run. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.